A few years ago, the Shield, we ran this place. We were on top of the world. But then the elders, they got in my ear. They told me that I wasn't fulfilling my destiny. They told me that I needed to abandon my brothers and elevate my cousins in order to truly be the tribal chief. And I listened. And it brought me success. I made my family proud, but in doing so, I lost a part of myself. I did a lot of things that I wish I could take back. I owe a lot of people an apology. Seth, Mox, I'm sorry. Even though we're not bound by blood, you guys are still my brothers. We've been through a lot. We've turned our back on each other. We've tried to get near kill each other. But we've also stood side by side in wars against the toughest opponents. And we're gonna need to do that one more time. Because there's only one way to end this with the bloodline. And that's the shield versus the bloodline war games. Oh my God, what? Solo, it doesn't matter who holds the Olafala. I am the original and the only tribal chief. And once we're done whooping their asses, I'll take that Olafala back and take control of my family. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. We're not in this fight to help you get back a necklace and become the tribal chief again. We're in this fight to put an end to everything that you started with the bloodline that has been terrorizing us for years. Brother, I want to believe that you've changed. That the old Roman I know is still there. But do you really think getting that power back is going to solve anything? That's your ego talking. This mess you've made needs to be dealt with. I'm ready to stand beside you in this war. But when it's over, why should we believe that once you take the power back that you won't betray us again like the first time? Win or lose, don't let it consume you again. Before Roman Reigns can retort, here comes the newly crowned tribal chief and his brand new bloodline. How will they respond to that declaration of war that Roman Reigns just made? Seth, John, you're right. Roman hasn't changed. He's a liar. He lied to me. He told me that I was next in line. And now he doesn't want to acknowledge me. I'll make you acknowledge me. You want us in war games? You're on. But it's not going to be three on three. No. We all want a chance to destroy the shield in war games. So you guys are going to need to find some partners. That is if you can even make it to war games. What the hell is he talking about? Who the hell is that? Oh my god. He's... He's huge! That's Hikaleo, the giant brother of Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa! Oh! With one strike! Between each members of the shield, Roman Reigns trying to fight back! What a big boot! Down goes the tribal chief! And now the shield trying to use their numbers advantage on this, on this monstrous man! There's Jacob Bot too. The bloodline runs deep as we're seeing this giant decimate the shield. A huge choke slam to the champion. A seven foot drop. Oh no, not from the top. Not from the top. Oh my god. Jacob Batu is an absolute freak of nature. Jacob Batu flattening the world champ. And now Roman. He's about to get put under with that choke slam. You have to wonder if this masterful plan came from the devious mind of Amando Estrada. As if the bloodline couldn't get any more dangerous. The shield have been rendered helpless puppies. The hounds of justice are no more. And now Solo looking to put the final touches. Wait a second. No way. Could it be the Usos? The Usos have arrived! The last time we saw them, they were destroyed by the new bloodline! Now they're here for revenge! Art to the teeth with solid steel! 
The Usos taking the fight to Solo in his bloodline. Chair shots for everybody, but oh no, the giant Hikaleo, six foot eight. Now he's gonna take care of the Usos. Superman punch by Roman. Roman coming to the aid of his cousins and takes out the giant Hikaleo. Double super kick, down goes the Samoan Werewolf. Misses with the spike and there goes Solo courtesy of the Shield. Look at this, an unreal sight. The Shield and the Uso standing side by side. I think it's safe to say that the Shield have found their partners in war games. And maybe so, they might have a united cause, but the history there, there's too much bad blood. Are they really a united front against Solo and his bloodline? They're gonna have to be because the battle lines have been drawn. And this is their only shot, their only chance to stop Solo and the bloodline.